little branches and everything on the top of my car. I parked underneath a tree last night, but that's about it. Fortunately, no real damage, but we do know start there is damage Here. across central Indiana. Yeah, absolutely. And a really fascinating comparison there, comparing these straight line wind events to a tornado, because a lot of times when there is a lot of damage, we just assume a tornado came through, but straight line winds can do absolutely just as much, if not more damage than some tornadoes. And so that's what we were dealing with last night, a derecho, long lived stretch of those straight line damaging winds. And we did get in on some hefty wind gusts from it. There were some more than 100 mile an hour wind gusts in Iowa, where some of the most severe damage was observed. For us, we saw the highest numbers at about 70 miles an hour, Indianapolis 61, and then Brownsburg did have a 60 mile an hour reading yesterday evening. Here's a look at that system fired up in South Dakota early yesterday morning, blew through Iowa, moving at about 55 miles an hour, then fired up even more lightning as it moved into central Indiana and really did do some damage along the way. As for back home right now, though, we are much quieter, really does look like an overall fairly quiet week, not going to have much more than an isolated chance for any sprinkles, really only seeing any activity right now closer to Greensburg, and that's continuing to move off to the east. As for future view, does hold on to a good deal of cloud cover here, at least for the morning. As we get into the afternoon, that does thin out. We're going to leave in that 5% chance for an isolated sprinkle, but most of us won't see any rain today. Right now, temperatures are muggy, 68 degrees in Indianapolis, 70 in Muncie, same in Shelbyville, and 70 right now in Bloomington. Dew points right along there with those mid to upper 60s, so you know we're holding on to that muggy feeling. We are starting to watch the wind shift, though. More out of the west right now and into the afternoon, that will be out of the northwest, which will feel a little bit refreshing in the heat of the afternoon. 85 that forecast high for later on today. That's right where we should be this time of the year. We will call it mainly cloudy, but as we get into the afternoon, we'll break up those clouds a little bit more and allow in some more sunshine. Tonight, though, cloudy overnight low down to about 66 degrees, so we will call that mild. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy, leaving in a 10% chance for an isolated shower, but mainly that is going to be Columbus and South. Rest of us should stay dry start to finish on Wednesday. Wednesday. High there, 86 degrees. Thursday looks like a great pool day, actually. 85 there and mostly sunny. Rain chances staying low into Friday, but we'll keep an eye on that. 86 at forecast high and then tracking more rain chances this weekend. So lots to be watching here the next few days, but still keeping rain chances overall very low. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. I brought my rain boots.